Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, I'm going to build me an extension cord. Okay guys, what I've got here, I've got this this old cord. I cut it off of something. I used it in my last video uh, where I was trying out the uh, pole lights. Uh, I can't remember what I cut it off of, but I saved it because it was a good end. Okay. So, and I've got this old extension cord end here. Right there. Now, what happened to the end of this was when Bruno was a puppy, he liked chewing on things. And he chewed the end of it off. So, I couldn't see throwing it away because it's got this end is perfect. Now, I'm going to take these two and I'm going to marry these two together right here. And I'm going to make me an extension cord. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, guys. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these ends off because I want a new clean clean ends to work with and I'm going to retrim them. Okay, just like that. All right. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not on here. You guys see all right? There we go. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use two of these buck connectors. All right, I'm going to use the red ones because they've got a snugger fit. They're a little smaller. Now you can use these if you want, which is fine. And this is a permanent fix, guys. It'll be fine. Uh, these won't pull out. It's easy because they actually screw on. They're nuts. They're nuts like me. And these are, you know, you just crimp them on. Then you're going. Then we're going to we're going to tape them up. I know the right way to fix this would be to put uh, heat shrink on here first, and then solder the two ends together, and then put the heat shrink over it, and then shrink it up, and then tape it. But unfortunately, I do not have any solder, and I keep forgetting to to pick it up when we're out. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim these. I lost the spring off of here. I don't know. There's supposed to be a spring there. It's laying over there somewhere, I think. And I'm going to get, you know, about an eighth of an inch, you know, a quarter of an inch. If you want, you can always gauge it by that, because it's going to go in there about like that okay so it shouldn't because see this this ends bigger the ends are bigger than the center because that's to go over your wire like that so you compensate for that and you figure it's going to be about right there and you want it to be about halfway on your butt connector so that should be about right and then you twist it up real nice do the same thing Same thing on that one. And then just check it and make sure they fit good. And it does. Fits perfect. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing on this and I want to show you something about this too. What we're going to do with these, this one, I'm just going to take these little cutters, and you side cuts, you can use a pocket knife, whatever you got. Just give them a just give them a little start there. And then pull them apart, just like that. Okay, now on these wires, you can see there's a black one and a white one. Make sure it didn't go through. Alright, the black one is going to be your power wire, and the white one is going to be your neutral. Okay, because this one, as you can see, it's not a trip wire, it's not grounded. Alright, now you're thinking, how do I know which one's which? when it's all one color. Well, 
normally what you're going to look at is you see this side, this wire here. If you look at it, see this side? Real close there. See how smooth that is? Now if you turn it over to the other wire, you see them ridges? See those ridges on there? Focus, there you go. The one with the ridges is going to go to the black wire. That's your power. The other one is your neutral. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's trim these about the same way, you know, eighth of an inch, you know, maybe. And twist them. Alright, now I'm gonna put this on here, make sure it doesn't go too far. If it doesn't go, if this end right here doesn't go over that, like that, then you're a little bit too long. So just get your little cutters cut your little tiny section off and you do that until it goes on and goes up in there where it should be just like that okay and you can look down inside there and make sure it's not coming through because you got to have room for the other end to go on here so let's do the same thing with this just like that now my crimpers here that is supposed to be to crimp these but it doesn't work right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pair of vice grips let me get them adjusted here just till they close like just till they're closed crimp it together do the same thing on this side if you got the right crimpers which I do not have it's works a hell of a lot better trust me but like I said yes you guys are right that are thinking if or the right way to do it would be to solder them put heat shrink on it and uh, and then tape it up or what I normally do when I do that is I'll have a bigger piece of heat shrink that I put over here and then I put my two smaller ones one on each one I solder it, slide the heat shrink on shrink it up and then run the the bigger piece of heat shrink onto it over this and then shrink it up that's that's the technically the right way but guys this will work just fine these wire nuts would probably even be better but yes the best way to do it is definitely uh, to solder them so and then we're going to check and see if this works that up in there and let's crimp them again uh, whoops got tight, tightened up on me there. there you go give them a little tug and that should be about right now we're going to take some here guys please don't use duct tape or scotch tape or masking tape on something like this okay just don't do it And use some kind of connector. Don't just wire them together. 
and then tape them up please don't do that very unsafe this is safe this is a permanent fix it will work so any electronic electricians out there don't hate me because I know you've done it as well if I look through your garage you may have something like this in there too so alright there we go now we've got my fan here let's get you backed out a little bit now plug this in over here on the wall it's plugged in now let's plug our fan in works there you go beautiful works perfect now I'll unplug this up here see that just to show you that is the right cord that we just made right there so there you go I have a good eight feet at least eight or nine feet of extension cord that I can use out here in the garage or whatever because we can always use a good extension cord so there you go guys that's how you make an extension cord you know just be careful make sure you do it right you won't have any problems this will last me forever unless I yank on it and yank it apart you shouldn't be yanking on an extension cord anyway, you know. So, alright, there's another little quick maybe how-to, you know, kind of thing. So, stay tuned. I've got a video coming up. I don't know if I'll get it up today because I still have to film it first. I've been seeing a, uh... okay, spoiler alert. I've been seeing these uh, guys on YouTube making these, uh, Continuous water fountains out of uh, out of water bottles and pop bottles. I'm gonna give that a shot, and if you want, you can join me because I'm gonna film it. <laughs> so listen, guys, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Y'all take care and be cool.